Hello viewers, my name is Peter. Oh, you're welcome to our YouTube channel at Scholars Card TV. Our educational YouTube channel at Scholars Card TV. Please make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Now, we want to look at the question here yeah, that's under the sum of arithmetic progression in form of an equation that leads to that finally leads to that sum of arithmetic progression. So without wasting much without wasting our time in this place we have the ninth and sec twenty second term of an AP are twenty nine and fifty five. Very, very simple. Now, this, this ninth and 22nd has already given you those uh, two equations. Now, in this place now, we have the first one, 2, 9, you 9, that's, uh, we have the ninth and that's equal to those, uh, the first one, ninth and second, the ninth one is uh, the first, which is what, uh, 29. And you 22, which is what, uh, that's uh, 55, that's, we have, the ninth term, which is what? Tw equal to 29. The second term equal to 55. Automatically, write A plus, don't forget, the ninth term, 9 minus 1, D, equal to 29. You may be surprised, how oh, do I write this? Yes, you write it in form of arithmetic progression before you now leads to the sum of arithmetic progression. Oh, don't forget our arithmetic progression formula. This is it. A plus what? Bracket A minus 1 times D. So uh, in my paper, if you look at the, the other video that we did on the arithmetic progression, I explained this thing very well for you. I said that A, A is the first term, your N is the nth term, and your D is the what is the common difference. Now, <coughs> well, well, this one is what? A plus what? 22 minus 1 times D equal to 55. Now, let's go. A, look here, please. Plus 9 minus 1, that's what? 8. A times the common difference, which is D. A times D, you know, that's what? 8D equal to 29. Automatically, this one is equation 1. Take note of that. Okay? The second one says that uh, 22 minus 1, we give it as what? 21 times D. It was 21 times 1 times, but give it 22 minus 1 is 21 times D. We give it as what? 21D equal to that as 55. You have equation 2. So it has formed an equation. So in this way, we are going to eliminate A. A. In other words, Eliminate A here yeah. by substituting by what? By subtracting equation one from two. That subtract equation one from what? From equation two. Okay, that's so in this place, put your minus here. Yeah. So minus times a, we give that as minus a. Minus times plus 8d, we give minus 8d. Then minus times 29, we give that as what? Minus 29. So when we equate it, automatically this one is what? A is nothing. So 21 minus 8, we give us what? We give us 13. So we have what? 13d. So 55 minus 29. 55 minus... 29, we order as what? 26. So, to find our, to get our common difference, which is D, we now divide both sides by 13. Some by 13. Some cancel this. 26 divided by 13. So, our 25 by 10 give us so. So, our common difference, which is D, is what? Is 2. Take note of that. Like I said, it's a very, very simple mathematics. Very, very easy. 
So in case you come across a question like this, it's very, very, very simple. OK. To find A, to find what? A, which is our first term, we are going to put D equal to 2 in equation 1. We are going to put D equal to 2 in equation 1. In equation 1, sorry. So, in our equation 1, we have what? 8D. So, I'm going to substitute this D as what? As 2. So, I'm going to rub up this board because of the space. I believe that you understand this. Okay. Let me manage this space. Whether we can. Let me continue here first. Let's see. So, our equation 1 is what? 8A, 8, A plus 8D equal to 29. So, now I'm going to write A here yeah, plus D equal to 2. Like I said, it's equal to 2. So our D is what is 2 already. Now, write A times what? Times 2. A equal to 29. Please take note of that. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now, come and I'll say A times 2 is what? 16. Equal to 29. To get our A, we now say A equal to, so to we subtract 16 from both sides. I say that 16 minus 16. Please take note of that. Please take note just equal to 29 minus 16. So 16 minus 16. 29 minus 16 now give us what? That is uh, 13. So, in this place, our first term is 13. Why? Our common difference is 2. Take note of that. So, let's now find the sum of the 70th, 70th what? Time. 70 what? terms. So, in this place, let's go. So, this is where we are. Let me cancel this, please. Let's go to this place now to find the sum of the 70 term. Don't forget, our formula for finding our sum of is what? S equal to what? N over 2 bracket 2A plus n minus 1 d. So that's the formula for finding it. Finding our sum of the arithmetic progression. Okay. Please, class, are you getting it? So that's that. It's a very simple thing. So in this place now, let's go ahead. We now come here and now say that uh, S70 equal to 70 divided by 2 times 2. What's our first term? Our first term is what? It's 13. Times 13. That is to find the sum of, that is to find the, we are looking for the, that is to find the sum of, the sum of arithmetic, the sum of the 70, the sum of the, of its form of, its first 70 times, for 70 times, for 70 times. Are you listening to me? So in this place now, we are now coming here, we now say that uh, plus, what's our 70, uh, our 70 times? We have 70 minus 1. And close it. Times what's our common difference? The our common difference is what? That's two. Our common difference there is what that's what? Two. Let me take my cover of my this thing so that it will not dry off. Because the marker is just class. How are you getting it? It's a very, very simple. <laughs> so in this place now, something divided by two, give us what? 35. 35. You know that now, okay? 2 times 13, that's what? 26. It's a very simple thing. Then uh, 70 minus 1 is what? That's 60. 
9. Multiply by these two, like I said, times 2. That's the common difference. So, it's a very simple thing. Just follow it gradually. Let me cancel this because we have. Okay? So, we have 35 here. Yeah? Now come and I'll say 26 plus. 69 times 2. 69 times 2 plus, look at it, right? Let's, like, times 2, that's 18. 9 times 2, take 1 there. 2 times 6, 12. Plus 1 is what, 30. So we have what? 138. How will it make class? So now let's add it together now. Now see, 35. Bracket of. Uh, 26 plus 30, 138. This plus 138, let me, 138, let me, that's, that's 26. Okay, let me get straight to the point, loss of time. Let me use my calculator, uh, 26 plus, because we are going to add it, times it here. That's, we have 26 here. Yeah? 8 plus 6, that's, 8 plus 6, the board is 130. Twenty-six, fourteen. Carry one here. That was uh, five, six. That was uh, one here, five, six. So we have a one hundred and sixty. Uh, one hundred and sixty-four. Okay. So. I don't know why the board is not the marker is not, and this is a new marker. I don't know. <laughs> but don't follow the class. <laughs> Just follow the step, okay? Maybe it's the board, I don't know. So, but this is a new marker. Okay. Here you can see now. Good. Okay, now. Now let us now multiply. Let's multiply. Is it 35 times 164? So, 35 times 164 give us what? Well, that's, that's 35 times. One six four. We give all that as uh, five thousand seven forty. So is that's the final answer. So in Russia, it says that uh, the sum of the of of its first of its first first. 70 times is 5,740. 5, so that's the final answer. So, don't worry, maybe in the next class you will be using digital board. But this is a new marker and this is a whiteboard. I believe.